I don't know about you, but I love the combination of maple and walnut together. So this maple walnut tart is going to be something that I really like, and I hope you like it too. So what we're going to start off with in our mixer bowl is three quarters of a cup of soft butter. We're making the dough right now for the tart. And one half cup of confectioner's sugar. Some of it stuck in there. Let's get it out. And I'm going to put this on my mixer and just blend it up. Somewhat mixed. I'm going to scrape down the sides. Just make sure that everything gets mixed together. And now I'm going to add two egg yolks to this. And I'll add the rest of the flour, uh, or I'll add the flour. It's one and two thirds cup. Then I have some ice water here, and as the dough is mixing, I'm going to add anywhere from three to four tablespoons, i got to go and see how the dough goes, and of ice water. You never can tell until you start mixing it. And that's it. I added three tablespoons. Okay, now what we need to do, this dough, it's mixed well, but it's very soft right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up in plastic wrap, and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, oh, for about a half an hour. Or if you're in a hurry, you could stick it in your freezer for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. You just have to kind of check it because you don't want it to freeze. And here I have a piece of plastic wrap. Take up all this nice dough. Give it a good wrap. And then what I like to do is turn it over and then kind of smoosh it. It helps it come together, and I make it into a flat disc so that when I'm rolling, it gives me a little bit of an edge, gives me a head start. So now, into the refrigerator for half an hour or into your freezer for about 10 to 12 minutes. Here's our dough. I had it in the freezer for about 15 minutes as opposed to the refrigerator for an hour because I'm a little impatient. Let me show you, talk to you about the pans first of all. This is going to go into a tart pan. Now, this is two types of tart pans. They're both nine inch diameters. This one is a round pan, removable bottom. That's what you're looking for. And this is a square version. I think just for whatever, I'm gonna use the square version today. If you don't have a tart pan, you can do this in a pie plate. You're just not gonna remove it from the pie plate later. Just line your pie plate with the dough, fill it, and bake it. So here we go. But if you're gonna do a lot of baking, Invest in some of these things. Buy yourself one piece of equipment a year or something like that. I mean, I've been collecting for many years. I'm not going to tell you how many. So here we go. Some flour. And there's our dough. Get my pin. 
And if it cracks, don't worry about it because you're going to just fit it into this pan and no one's going to see it once you have the inside filled and baked. After I fill this pan with this dough, I am going to put this in the freezer, um, refrigerator. You could put it in the freezer, I suppose. Um, in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And then we're gonna blind bake it. And if you haven't done much blind baking, I find blind baking to be one of the biggest challenges in baking. And I'll tell you why. Because it, no matter how many weights you put in it and whatever, I still have my pastry shrink away from the side. But again, when you fill it, you won't notice it. Oops. There, see? Forgiving. And again, I could have just picked this up and put it in there and just pressed it in, but I actually find that harder than doing this. Okay, let's see. Let's see where we are. A little bit more this way. Beauteous. There we go. And then just fit it in there. Again, like I said, if it breaks, just fit it in there. No one will know. Fit it in there again. See, I've got extra over here. I'll take that off. Just take it off with your thumb. It's okay to have a little bit extra from the side because, like I said, it's going to shrink away. I've got a little tear in the bottom here. I'll just put a little piece in there. And there we go. There is our shell. And now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour before we blind bake it because we want it really cold. So, one hour. Here's our tart shell out of the refrigerator. Been there an hour, it's nice and cold and hard. I'm going to take, we need to blind bake it now. So I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and put it in there. And then these are my pie weights, which are old beans, dry beans that I've had now for a few months. Uh, I usually use the same beans over and over again until they start getting, you know, you'll know. <laughs> so I just push this, I like to push it to the edges because you want to hold up the edges as much as possible in it. And my oven is on at 350 degrees and we're going to blind bake this for 15 minutes. Now it doesn't have to be all the way done and you'll see it's not going to be totally brown, but after we put the filling in, it's going back into the oven so it'll have some more um, bake time. So, 350, 15 minutes. Here's our tart out of the oven. It's been in there for 15 minutes. I'm going to remove the weights. I'm going to reuse these weights over and over and over again, like I said, until they get grungy. Now, you can see the pie is not completely done, but it's going to go back into the oven, so that's fine. Um, I did lose a little bit of a shrinkage on the corner in here. Um, I don't think this will be critical. We'll worry about that later. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to put that aside, and now I want to make the filling for you. In my mixer bowl, three quarters of a cup of soft butter, room temperature, and one half cup of brown sugar. And I'm also going to add at this time one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'm 
and just mix that up. Now, while it's mixing, I'm going to add two whole eggs. And one half cup pure maple syrup. Don't really, it's only a half a cup. Really use the good stuff. Now at this point, it kind of looks separated. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna mix this now. Oh, I don't know. Give it three or four minutes on the mixer. I'm gonna add a half a cup of flour and we're just gonna let it go. Oh, excuse me, one third of a cup of flour. Take a moment and scrape down the sides. It's almost there. And another minute or two. Right. That's good. Scrape it off. Just making sure everything's in there. And now I'm going to add two cups of roughly chopped walnuts. So you've got your maple in there and now you've got your walnuts. My oven is still on at 350 degrees. And we are going to, this time, I am going to put the tart shell on a pan just in case there might be leakage. It probably won't, but you never can tell. Just spread it out. And this is going to go into that 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes until it's set. So I'll see you in about 45 to 50 minutes. Here's our maple walnut tart. I took it out of the oven. I let it sit for about a half an hour and then I removed the, the uh, mold on it. It still has the bottom base. And here it is ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar over the top. And this is ready to eat.